Hey folks, so in today's video, what I would really love to talk about and something that I really enjoy doing is exploring how we can use content marketing and what we can use from the tips and tools on this world in the learning and development world. And the reason why I say this is because I find most people in any career don't really understand on some level, we are all marketers and we all need to have a basic level understanding of marketing and that's because we market ourselves in our career we market ourselves in our work as well so let's talk specifically what i'm looking at for the learning and development space and take you through a little bit of a journey so we begin with looking at what i would describe as um messaging so messaging in terms of how do you engage people with your content so on the left hand side we have what i call the very bland boring and basic and you might be used to this some of you might be doing it now so i do apologize but i want to help you with that so you can see on the left hand side here it's a very basic hey we've got some training you know you can access it here Oof, that's kind of it on the right hand side is what i look at as how do we turn that into a post that is useful, engaging and valued. And hopefully you can already see the kind of the feel and the look difference between the two. So let's talk about that. So kicking off, we'll look at the first one. So what doesn't work, okay? And fundamentally what doesn't work is what we see on our screen here. But let's actually break down as to why that doesn't work. And it comes to three components, okay? So the three components are headline, so headlines are useful to describe what a post or resource will offer in a few seconds. Now here, we have no headline. Fundamentally, the headline is, here's our newest training course on giving feedback. Like, whoa, not, not really exciting, right? Context. Context is key in anything that we do and that we're drawn to. So what is that? Why, what we'll be using? What is the context to it? And the body of any message provides the opportunity for you to tell people why should they care about this topic and how is it going to help them? So here again, we have a classic example of what I call a transaction rather than a conversation. And we hate this as humans, right? All of us do. And in visual, visuals are another great way to catch an audience's eye, but also to inform them of what the post is about without words. Visual impact is awesome. This one is not. So this image is as boring and as staged and as corporate as you can get. So again, people aren't gonna engage with this. There's nothing there for them to engage about. This is more selling than it is sharing and looking to provide a solution. So what can we do about that? Fundamentally, what we're gonna do now is look at what does good look like or what could good look like? So what good looks like is this pretty much. And let's explain why that is. So we can see a completely different post here, but on the same topic of feedback. And the reason why this is different is again, going back to our core three pieces. So headline here, we have a clear headline that describes what people will get from the post. Three tips to create a better feedback experience. Awesome. A second to read that. I know what I'm going to get into here. The context, less transactional. This is more conversational. We want to talk to people like humans. And here what we can note is that sharing key tips is the key part of our message. What we're not doing is using this message as for a sole reason to sell, sell, sell. You want to look at this as how am I sharing something with a friend versus saying do this thing. So in the body of your message always includes you know some tips and some insights into how people can do this thing. And then at the bottom, as you can see here, then you can say to them, oh, by the way, if you love this stuff, check out this resource that we've created as a team to help you to keep scaling your skills. And then of course, lastly here, going to our visual components. So visuals don't need to be overpowering, right? Basic really works. And I think this is probably a good example of this in terms of having a visual here that just says feedback matters. So immediately without our kind of stupid stage corporate image before, the user immediately knows, okay, this post is about feedback. Am I interested in feedback? Is that something that's gonna help me? Let me get into that. So we can use these three components of headline, context, and value to really level up our engagement and really level up the engagement with content. Because 
as I say, this whole piece is not about you selling to people in your organization, but it's actually showing what is the value of the content. And a way you can do that is by using messages like this, as opposed to the usual, we've launched some new training, come and look at it here. So hopefully you can feel that difference in the messaging and use some of these tips to actually upgrade your own approach to how you will essentially, you might not like the word, but market your content to people internally. So look folks, hopefully that's been helpful. If you love these insights, you wanna get more content, I have a whole series of posts specifically on marketing in LND over at my blog at stillthesethoughts.com, which you can see the URL for here, or we can get very techy and you can use the QR code here to scan it, find out more about my site, join the weekly newsletter if you want to as well for more tips like this. But look, I hope that's been helpful. Drop me any comments in the section below and I will do my best to get back to you.